still talking about that now. Our own athlete here, Bless Noka mm -hmm. you know, Olympic uh, medalist and all, she also is trying different ways she can uh, stay fit. And she sent us this uh, video on her workout from Mumu, how she's actually keeping fit, just working out to ensure that, well, anytime training starts, or mm -hmm. rather anytime, any competition she's going for, she will be fully ready to go. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it was <laughs> tired of you the other day, talking about being ready for the X. So yeah. she doesn't know when it's going to be. <laughs> yeah. But she just, you know, like the motto of the Boy Scout, just, <laughs> just be prepared. And she, she's prepared. I, mean, I, I like this. Um, no excuses. Just find a way to do what you need to do. Uh, this, is, this is remarkable. Uh, remarkable stuff. Just, uh, it's, it's not like the real thing. Uh, mm, you, yeah. you may not get all that you need, but at least it's, it's no excuse to not do uh, anything and I'm mightily impressed uh, with, with blessing. Not that I expected anything less <laughs> from an athlete of this caliber. Anyway, yeah, not that I expected anything less, but uh, but I'm impressed that she's doing this and she's also sharing the videos for us to see. Absolutely, positive, positive vibes she's sending out there to those who are thinking, how do I do it? I don't have enough equipment and all that. She's got those equipment to train and everything mm -hmm. because she's an elite athlete. But for those that don't have it, I mean, these are simple ways mm -hmm. you can actually keep fit while you're at home. I mean, just wake up in the morning, have a timetable, because she has a timetable. I remember they were supposed to have her on the show and all that, okay, Skype. She said, okay, that's my training schedule. So imagine she's on break and she's have you know following Sticky. strictly Sticky. following her training to, schedule, to schedule strictly so that's really uh, a good way that's that calls for discipline remember we we're talking with uh, Musa Audu you know on yeah. Friday and on that when he mentioned that there are some of these athletes that forget it that hey everyone is at home some of these athletes are still putting in the work and that's what she's doing at home just putting in the work just being disciplined following her you know her training uh a training schedule not even breaking it despite the fact that you know you don't even know when we're going to open the economy when everyone will be allowed to go out, when competitions will start and everything yeah. and all that. But then you just keep putting in the work and just, you know, showing that example to everyone that, look, you can do anything at home right now to ensure that you are keeping fit both positively and also in every way uh, you can. All right, so that's it. That's our own uh, blessing. Uh, a lot has rested on our shoulder <laughs> in, the, in the last decade. And um, she has brought smiles to our face. So, uh, good one right there. All right, there's still some other Absolutely. videos. Absolutely. Let's talk about it. some of the sports yeah. people don't know we do mm -hmm. right here. Uh, a lot of them Curling. showing us. Yeah, Colin, one of them. Colin, yeah. T. Cole actually shared uh, this video, you know, with us and all that. Playing uh, floor coiling at home. Just that's alone. That's a pathway, right? I mean, that's a pathway. Absolutely. If it's a, you have it. I mean, what... what I, I, Whichever way you can, you know, just try do as much as just do something. I mean, this is what she's doing right now. She wants to be a coiler and she's already doing this, just practicing at home. She's got the equipment to practice with mm -hmm. and she's doing it in, you know, just in a walk way. Yeah, just trying to do different ones. You don't have to be on ice or anything. And I but then also you can. want to underline, yeah. as, in, as with the case with all the people that we have shown, all safety protocols being observed. Absolutely. And, and, and that's why we're showing these videos. It's interesting that in, in something that looks like confinement, it's something that is <laughs> isolation, it's yeah. lockdown, shutdown, whatever you want to call it, still, you know, uh, the human spirit ca cannot be locked down forever and they find creative ways to do all of these things. And that's what's making us happy. And we know that uh, with time, life will get back to normal. Absolutely, we can't wait. And that's another couple right there also trying to also, you know, play this one in their living room. You cannot go out to have it, but then there are ways you can actually, you know, uh, you know, keep in shape, play different transport, just learn, you know, teaching and all that. And then that will also help you to keep fit and also to stay uh, positive, stay at home and try as much as possible to also stay safe. We know it's difficult sometimes, but then when you have to, you know, do some of these things and all that, you know, it's going to help you mm -hmm. a whole lot on the long all run. Right. Okay, so that's it. Uh, before we leave this little matter of you t sharing with us uh, what you're doing, you can see those uh, interesting pictures. All right, let's just um, do this once again. Let's show you, just in case you're just joining us, you know, let's show you how you can tell us what you're doing, how you can send us those clips, and how you can be a part of this show. There's a lot we've talked about uh, already. There's a lot we're still going to talk about the more. There you have it uh, on Twitter which is very active, and of course, uh, you get straight to us. We can have a chat live on um, the, the show. Uh, you can just tell us how you feel about all of these things, and trust us, we will uh, chat with you. A lot already coming in. Cecilia already taking a look at some of those 
comments. We're going to get to it very soon. But there you have it on screen. At channels underscore sports, our verified Twitter handle. And of course, the individual handles that you have right there on screen. You can talk to us um, while we're on this show or about anything you want to talk about in the amazing world of sports. These days, I don't say money spinning anymore because money, <laughs> money is not spinning right now. Uh, but of course, we'll get back to the money spinning world of sports. <laughs> but for now, it's still the fast-paced world of sports, even though we're doing the sports in our homes in lockdown and in shutdown. But very, very um, interesting nonetheless. Okay. So we'll get, back, we'll get to those comments uh, Later, in a bit. Yeah. But first, let's uh, talk about Vincent um, and Yama. And of course, it's heartwarming uh, to know that he's not thinking of Calling it quits. Absolutely. He's not thinking of um, hanging his gloves. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I grew up seeing Peter Shilton mm -hmm. at the World Cup, 41 years. So I, I, I'm used to seeing goalkeepers. Their lifespan is a lot larger yeah, absolutely. Than, than the outfield players. So I was very happy. And he's still in his prime. Forget mm -hmm. the fact, whatever happened, we all know what happened yeah. uh, with Lee. He has <laughs> nothing to do with his form. He has yeah, absolutely, absolutely yeah. nothing to do with his form. And that's why we're happy that Vincent Yama uh, has come out to say, uh, there were reports over the weekend mm -hmm. that, you know, you're talking about offers from one or two... Orlando uh, Pirates, South Kaiser African, Chiefs and all that. Premier League really clubs. Mm -hmm. uh, that, well, if, if it's good, it, it would take it. So it's waiting for the right offer. It's not jumping absolutely. At, at anything. But I, I'd love to see him back. I talked about Esam El Hadri, the guy that went to the World <laughs> Cup at 45, you know. And he was still good. Mm -hmm. It was still good. Absolutely. Uh, they didn't pick him because they were trying to do... Uh, Make, break history or, or he, history or something. He was good enough to, yeah, to be there. To earn it. Vincent is just 37. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, he's uh, our most capped player and all mm -hmm. that. When you look at Vincent Yama and the way he actually left the national team, it's still, I mean, people are still really, really bitter about that. So when he spoke with Colin Udo, you know, the weekend and all that, mm -hmm. you know, talking about, you know, the different things he needed to talk about. And the big one was the fact that he's not really ready to leave football. I mean, he hasn't played football since 2000. 2008, but then he says he's waiting for the right project. There's a quote, you know, coming from him when he says that I mean, when the time is right. Okay, now this is what he had to say, you know, uh, during the interview. He okay. says, if I have the right project, yeah, I will get back on the field. I'm looking at projects that will help me get to the next stage and pursue the things I want to do. It is not about just football. I love this. The next thing he wants to do, I remember the last time I spoke with him, he says he was studying something online. I'm like, okay, what is this guy doing? Okay, keep our fingers crossed. He hasn't really, really uh, revealed anything yet. But I think he wants a project that will last, not just going into a club and maybe after one season is all over. So he's waiting for the right opportunity, the right time for him to be able to, you know, uh, you know, get into the business of football again. If, if you're still good, why, why not? <laughs> Manuel Neuer in, in Germany yeah. at a top club is asking for a five-year deal at 34 <laughs> at 34 so he is that good and he has yeah. that level of confidence in himself mm -hmm. and still believe that even at 40 it will, it will still be that good so i mean i appreciate the fact that vincent yeah. is not thinking about a one or two year he's still seeing himself in the game uh for uh, the long haul Absolutely. and hopefully wish him all the best uh, injuries have not been kind in, yeah. in the last few years mm -hmm. but it's part of the game uh, once he's done with all of that hopefully uh, he'll get back to it and trust me once he yeah. starts manning the post <laughs> and everything is right the calls for yeah. him we know how good he is and yeah. if we see him and he's back he's still on that level trust me the, crawl, the calls uh, will grow <laughs> uh, for him uh, so, but, but the first order yeah. will be for him to. and as um, a Nigerian as somebody mm -hmm. who loves uh, football, whether or not he represents Nigeria again, I would just love to see him back yeah. between the sticks, doing what he knows how to do best, especially because I know he's good at what he does. Absolutely, he's that good. 101 cap for the national team, not easy as a goalkeeper.